And now, from our quarantined homes with theater in our hearts, we are proud to bring you CTE's virtual opening night of Matilda the Musical. Hello, everyone. Happy opening night. Um, tonight was supposed to be the opening night of Matilda. We usually do a red carpet style. And just for you, I dressed up. And by that, I mean I've been wearing this sweatshirt for a solid three days. So, um, even though we are all sad about missing opening night and missing each other's faces and acting and singing and dancing together, we hope to bring you some entertainment. Um, and also we hope you consider uh, donating to Children's Theater to recoup some of the funds that we have lost out on due to COVID-19. Um, but without further ado, let's begin our program. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourself? Okay. okay. You can go first, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm Addie and... <laughs> And that's it. Why do you introduce yourself? Okay, I'm 10 years old, and I'm in fifth grade. Um, my oh, name is Frankie. I am nine years old. I'm in fourth grade. I live in a neighborhood called Lake Charlotte. So I live somewhere near St. Charles. And um, this is my 11th play. Thank you, Darnell. And I've, um, I've been in, like, a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I'd say this is, like, my ninth or tenth show. All right, first things first, let's check in on how those Matildas, Frankie and Addie, are doing with this whole quarantine. I don't know how to interact with humans anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's because, be really like, she, it, I can relate to how you were saying that, because she said, so she had a friend over, supposed, supposedly, and it was an apple with a face on it. I, I you making up your own apple. friends? Yeah, I befriended an apple because I really need it to talk to someone. And so I have his face somewhere, but I got really hungry, so I ate him. But I, I cut off his face. It, it's in a Ziploc bag. And then I buried his core in the backyard. But <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah, he's a, he's a really good friend. <laughs> you guys, that, that, that's amazing. Um, you are truly theater kids, because only Addie and Frankie would do something weird like that. I <laughs> love that. It's a it seems like they're doing great. Just, yeah. Next, we have an interview with Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood, who are Matilda's parents in the show, and they are terrible. Terrible people. Um, but it is a fun part to play. So please enjoy your interview with Meredith and Joseph. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey. Uh, good. How are you? So doing? we are joined here by Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood. And you guys are just terrible Hello. in the show. We Can you terrible. guys introduce yourselves? Yeah. Mrs. Wormwood, go ahead. Uh. Hi, I'm Meredith Musial, and I play Mrs. Wormwood in Matilda. Hi, I'm Joseph Timberlake, and I play <laughs> Mr. Wormwood in Matilda. Um, yeah, what have you been doing with these quarantine days? What's been going on? Honestly, I've been doing a whole lot of nothing. Just a lot of homework from e-learning. <laughs> About the same. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really do much, but... Uh, I have been doing e-learning and still I'm failing, so that's going oh, I'm somewhere. I'm sure that's not true. Have you been doing any, like, special things? Like, I all of a sudden got into puzzles. I mean, oh. I, I guess I've been working on, like, outside work and chores, which is not anything special, I guess. So. You're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you feel about these roles? Like, how do you feel about playing such terrible people and like how you have to treat Matilda so terribly. Honestly, it's really awesome because <laughs> I, 
I really only played roles like as the mischievous child or goody two shoes, but this I get to be trashy and mean and like it's like all the morals I've been taught I don't have them in this musical and it's just really fun to be mean. That sounds wrong. Um awesome. I would no, have I to I would have to disagree on that point just a tad bit just because every role I've had I've always been sort of a mother figure and I've always been like nice to the kids I've worked with and the kids are basically my best friends at CGE like they're the people I want to talk to and the fact that I have to be mean to like the two nicest people on the planet it's it's hard I just it feels so sickening having to yell at them all the time it's like mm. no, I, I, in the show what is your most favorite part Probably when I'm making a bunch of noises trying to rip the book. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're terrible. Part. I love that part. And yeah. you take yeah. your loved possession and rip it apart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say the scene right before Loud, where I'm with Bella and Jack, it's just so funny. With your roles, what do you find the most challenging when playing them? Probably the Cockney accent because I have to agree. I like start doing the Cockney accent and then all of a sudden I'm like southern and then it just it's it's just really hard to nail that and you just you know. It, it's really yeah. hard. It's really hard to get that down. Do, do one of you wanna give us an example because you do it so well. Oh look at this! She's written a book that's not normal for a five year old. I think she might be an idiot. Can't even. <laughs> Good. And uh, what are you looking forward to the most um, returning to Matilda rehearsals? Probably just like stepping on stage and running through like the show with like all the text and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, like, you know, tech weekend. Because we never had that before because we were still no. like blocking scenes and stuff. So yeah. That's looking forward to the most. And definitely, I don't do much of anything else, so that was my, like, big thing that I had to do. And now, I'm just at home most of the time. So, yeah, that no, and awesome. having something to look forward to is awesome. You know, I'm, I, it's been really nice talking to you. I'm so excited for the fall to come. And Me too. Yeah. I, I, I miss you guys very much. So, thank you so much for doing Oh, you too. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. When I grow up. Um, how do you feel about sharing your parts with one another? Well, I think it's good that we share parts, because I feel like people who don't share a part, I mean, they would still do good, but then we might do a little better. Because, like, they don't have anybody to learn from, but if you have another person who's playing the same role as you, well, one, you can practice together, and two, you can also learn from each other. Uh, which I is think it's, like, really, like, fun, and it kind of, like, takes some of, like, the stress off your back, kind of, because, like, you have someone, like, ask questions, and you have, like, a built-in understudy. Yeah, absolutely. And your shows, um, each are getting exactly three shows. You each yeah. get a full show, you each get a night show, and you each get a matinee. Yeah. Oh, so, you know, and it, it's good to have, um, it's good to be able to rest your voice and to rest yeah. your body because Matilda is, as we know, a huge part. It's so huge. Cool. Yeah, I love that you guys love working together. Defendant stands up. Um, I mostly stand up to like people if they are bullying me at school, and sometimes my brother because he, he's just him. So yeah. How do you think um, the character Matilda can be a role model for girls everywhere, and obviously all kids? So I think, okay, I think it's because like she can be a role model because she can encourage people to do stuff. Like if somebody's being mean to them, but they're just kind of shy and they don't really do anything about it, and then then they like keep teasing them. She could be a role model to to like encourage more shy people to like stand up for themselves and do something like that. I feel like she's like, like kind of like encouraging people to like read more I feel like. Cause I don't know, yeah. I, don't, I don't think anybody wants to turn into a Michael. Um. <laughs> a 
Okay, I feel like the most challenging thing is probably like memorizing like all those lines and like I feel like the songs are kind of like easier to memorize because that's just how I am. But I feel like the lines like I've never done anything like this before. Like I've never had like a like a lead role before, so it's definitely different. But yeah, I'd say the most challenging thing would be the lines because I yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's good. I would say. Again, the most challenging thing is like just memorizing everything. So, mm -hmm. what are you guys looking forward to the most coming back to rehearsal? What are you looking forward to the most? I definitely know this answer. I'm looking most forward to the people, just all of the people, because like, I mean, yes, I get along with my brother. I can talk with my friends over like FaceTime or Messenger, but like. I don't really have anybody's like phone number or something, so I didn't get to, except for Addie. So I don't get to see like all the people in, um, who were in the cast Matilda a lot. I'm looking forward to um, just like being there and like being with like actual humans instead of <laughs> talking through a screen. so much thank you you thank All you right. bye i miss you bye i'll miss bye. you bye. nobody else is gonna put it right for me nobody but me is gonna change my story sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty guys um now most of you know me um i've been around children's theater for a very long time but a lot of you might not know um, our director of operations elizabeth Meyer. hi elizabeth hey hey elizabeth is here to tell us um, about what she does and what you guys can do to help uh children's theater of belgium and fox valley um, um hey everybody like mm -hmm. allison said i am elizabeth niemeyer and um you might not know me super well just because i spend most of my time actually in the cte office and so um just to kind of quickly talk a little bit about what i do um i take care of things administratively for cte so that means i help out with the marketing and the finances and the grant writing um uh, what's going on and i've had some people ask me like how can we stay involved with CTE right now? Like, just because there's not rehearsals or shows going on, like there usually is. So um, one thing you can do that's super fun, uh, I know we're all on our phones and our computers and devices a little bit more than usual probably. So um, make sure that you're uh, plugged into all our social media. Uh, we've got a ton of kids doing fabulous things and sharing just like a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, we're obviously on Facebook, but we're also on Instagram and YouTube, and we actually have a TikTok now. So we are on the TikTok. So you can check the us TikTok. out there. The TikTok. The TikTok, as as um, Allison and I <laughs> were saying the other day. So please stay plugged into us. Um, while we can't like gather together right now, um, we can kind of virtually share what we're doing and uh, keep everybody's spirits up. And um, I have loved seeing all of the really cool and creative things. Um, that our Matilda cast is doing and our alums are doing. Um, so that's something great that you can do uh, to just kind of still be a part of CTE while we're in this kind of time. Um, another thing you can do to stay involved and um, uh, something that we would love you to do if you possibly can is make a donation to CTE. Um, our producers and our volunteers and our directors and just everybody works so hard to make sure all of our shows are self-sustaining meaning that the money that we spend to do the shows we get back and we do that by being very careful with our expenses um and so this is uh we really plan on on kind of sustaining ourselves with our shows and having to cancel two shows um is is a big hit for us so um if you can if things uh work out for you to donate even if it's just you know the ten dollars that you would have spent on a ticket this weekend that would be huge for us. That would be amazing if you can do that. If you can do more, fabulous. Um, if you, a lot of you are used to donating to us in the fall during our um, late summer, early fall uh, kind of a pledge drive. If you can move that up this year, that would be so great and we would so appreciate it. Uh, we also know that this is a really hard time for a lot of people. And if you can't donate right now, that's totally okay. No worries. We are here for you and um, please just stay connected to us in any way you can. Um, if you'd like to donate though, 
It's right there on the homepage of our website. You can go to ctelgen.com and uh, there's a little bit of info on um, COVID-19 and how it's affected us. And there's a button on there to click to donate. Um, so again, that's ctelgen.com. And um, if you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email, give me a call. Believe me, I'm happy to talk to people right now. Anyone, come come to me <laughs> with all the questions because it'd be so nice to talk to people right now. Uh, but anyway, so that's kind of a little bit of what's going on. Elizabeth, thank you so much. And, you know, I feel like I didn't give you a grand enough introduction. Um, everybody, Elizabeth is our director of operations, but I feel like the title should be somewhat grander. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. We we have a CTE president, but maybe we could like dub you the CTE queen. I don't know. Too. Yeah. Only if I get a tiara. She does I'm absolutely gonna... everything for us. She is the organizational end of um, CTE. Without her, auditions, workshops, anything and everything would not take place. So Elizabeth, thank you so much for um, taking on this uh, role. You've been with us almost a year now, right? Yeah, time has flown by. It's been crazy. And We're I have coming up on a year. Yeah, so yeah. We um, cannot thank you enough for everything you do. And especially during this weird time of this job is still kind of new. And now it's weird. You've just been killing it. So thank you so much. Um, Thanks, uh, Allison. We're yeah, going to get pleasure. back to some, some past interviews now. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Right, Bye. Thank you so much. We interrupt our show this evening with some very important news. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, you TikTokers, you Instagrammers. Uh, this girl right here, Mary Grace, my friend, uh, children's sitter of Algin and Fox Valley, theater company, choreographer and director extraordinaire, came up with this um, TikTok challenge. And guess what? It's already caught on. Our very own Megan Cunahan took the challenge. See you there. Orin saw Megan and then she took the challenge. Check it out. Felisa jumped on. All right, my maggots, now I want you to take the challenge. Whether you're a cast member or just a CTE supporter or you're seeing this for the first time, I want you to look at that dance and I want you to do it and post yourself. TikTok is our platform we made this on, but if you want to post the video and tag us on Instagram or Facebook, that's okay too. Just remember to tag us at CTE Elgin. Our interview with the young lady who plays Miss Honey. Miss Honey in the story is Matilda's teacher and she is that teacher that every kid wants. She is sweet, she is kind, and she's one of the only people in Matilda's life who truly believes in her and sees the genius within her. I hope you enjoy this interview with Miss Bella Perez. So good. It's so nice to finally speak to someone. <laughs> it's really good to see you. I miss you. I miss you too. It's, I miss CT right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do a lot. Um, all right, so let's just start off by um, introducing yourself, yeah? Hi, I'm Bella, Bella Perez. I'm 15, and I play Miss Honey in CT's Matilda. What have you been doing with all this quarantine time? Well, mostly spending time, you know, with those around me, talking to my friends and family, singing, acting, you know, like doing the stuff I love to keep me keeping me busy. Yeah. Um, do you relate to Miss Honey in any way? Yes. Well, me and Miss Honey are kind of, we're, we're different in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. One way that I can connect with her is that we both overthink 
way too much. Even though I might be more verbal about it, she's more quiet about it. Another thing I can connect with Miss Honey, not like to myself, but to um, people around me. There's been a lot of like Miss Honeys in my life. Um, my great grandma, my grandma, and my mom were teachers. And uh, I see how hard teachers work to like to um, benefit their students or to help their students in any way they can. I've been surrounded by wonderful teachers that empower me to do my best at school, at theater, and at home. What do you find the most challenging about playing this role? The most challenging about Miss Honey is that she grows a lot throughout the musical. And um, it's sort of hard to convey that little bit of confidence that she gets like every single day, like throughout the show. Because in the beginning, she starts off so quiet, so, so, as she would put it, you know, pathetic. Um, and to grow from that to um, being there for Matilda when no one else can, I feel that that, that is a little hard to convey. Yeah. Like, um. Uh, so what are you looking forward to most after this quarantine is over, but also just coming back in the fall to do Matilda again, to jump right back into it? Honestly, just starting up where we left off, it's every CTE show is just, it's, it's an experience, you know, because you have this cast and you grow very close, you know, you become a family. And being in the situation that we are in right now, that we had to all like take a break and we had to leave it at like, you know, we just had to pause it. Yeah, um, abruptly too. Like it came on sudden. Yeah. It really wasn't much of a warning. It was full fledged, full fledged, and then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just excited to uh, go back to that community that I've been missing. And I just know that we're, it's just gonna, we're all just gonna come back stronger. I, I just like to say that um, our future audience is in for a treat because when we're gonna come back, I know we're just gonna work harder and um, we're just gonna come together. Just we're just gonna be uh, stronger as a cast. Yeah. And I just feel like that those, that connection with each other is just gonna help us tell the story. Absolutely. It's an incredibly unique experience for this cast, specifically, yeah. that no other cast is going to have. So, yeah, I put it in a good part. Well, thank you for your time. I miss you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Very excited to get back into rehearsals with you and the rest of the cast. Um, but thank you for taking the time to do this. No problem. All right. Bye. Bye. So, besides being friends with Apples, I asked uh, Frankie and Addie or Matilda's maybe what TV shows were they watching? Do they like watching TV a lot? Here's what they had to say. I mean, like, I like TV, but I'm not like, oh my god, I can't stop watching it. Yeah, uh, you're not like this. Yeah, exactly. You know, my Matilda's, I agree. I don't like sitting in front of the TV like that either. I mean, I barely watched anything during quarantine. Only a season and a half of Ozark and rewatched the series of Parks and Rec, New Girl and Community. But that's it. Oh, and High School Musical, the musical this year. And the last season of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And like 12 Disney movies. Up next, we have an interview with one of the most evil, terrible, funniest characters. Miss Agatha Trunchbull, who is played by Nathan Shu. Oh, you you just love to hate this character. And you kind of just love to love her. I hope you enjoy it. Well, we both have like a CT poster idea. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Part of us. Same ones. There's L. What? Oh, yeah. L. Lion King. L. Rumble Dickens. 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 What's that? Is that Wolf? I'm not sure. Hercules. Wonka, I was in Wonka. I auditioned for Wonka. What were you, what were you in A Ghost Tale for Dickens? Not a really big part, like just a small Yeah, it was just like Mr. Dickens. It was just uh, a yeah. Yeah, yeah, nothing really important. Nice.
Yeah. What have you up. been? Uh, what have you been doing in this quarantine? What have you been up to? Um, we've been having a lot of family movie nights, family game nights. Sure. Um, a lot of FaceTiming friends. I love FaceTime. Sure. Favorite yeah. invention of all time, probably. <laughs> Besides, like the wheel. You play. Chris Trunchbull. Chris Trunchbull. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and just give us some basic facts. Oh, hi, my name is Nathan Stu, and I play Miss Trunchbull in ZT's production of Matilda. Um, I'm in ninth grade, I go to South Elton High School, and I love ZT and theater. About Miss Agatha Trunchbull, yes. uh, how do you feel about playing a female role? I was so excited. Miss Trunchbull was like, that's the role I like wanted going into the show. And so I was so excited to get her. And I don't really care. It, it was just gonna be like a fun little like, experience, having like the wig and the dress, everything. I was so excited. I am I am so excited to see you. Yeah. When I thought for a moment that we weren't gonna have this chance, like one of the big thing uh, things for me was, oh, what if I don't ever get to see Nathan? I know. Miss Agatha on stage. I know. I was so worried because I was like, I'm so excited to, to do this. I just like be on stage, be with Shunchul, like just take, like be the whole Shunchul, the look, the attitude, everything. So I'm very yeah. glad that you're going to do it in the fall. It's a, it's a fun part. Like yeah. on that, so Miss Agatha Shunchul is a terrible human. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Um, uh, how how does that feel playing the villain? In the show. Um, I think it's so much fun. Like, who wouldn't have fun playing like a evil British school headmistress? Like, I think that's such a fun part to play because obviously I'm not evil to children in real life, but like being on stage, it's like being like a huge like evil woman. It's just it's so much fun. Like, it's so fun. Um, what is it about the role that you find most challenging? Just like getting into character or sticking with the character because she has a very specific like voice and way that she acts and way that she goes about stuff and so the probably the biggest challenge is developing what that all looks like for me because everyone who plays the role is obviously going to not play it the exact same way so finding the way I play Trunchbull and then fitting into that and locking it in so I'm always in character on stage. Yeah, uh, you do a very nice job at that too. Thank you. I'm putting you on the spot here, but can you give us a little taste of that? Your Miss Agatha Trunchbull, like with a sure. line or with a song lyric or anything sure. like this. <laughs> Nonsense. Haven't I just told you that she's a gangster? Quiet, nuggets! Uh, what are you looking forward to the most when you join up again in the fall? Uh, in the fall, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone again, seeing everyone together and just being back on stage, because I love being on stage. I love acting, singing, dancing. And so just being to, able to do that with all my friends, all the people I love, because obviously we can't see each other right now. Yeah. So just being together again, and just like doing what we all love on stage and having a fun time. I can't wait. I miss you. I just miss everything about theater. Everything I see too, just everything, just like being at rehearsal, seeing all my friends, just acting. All right, well, Thank Nathan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really so good to see you. Thank you for Can't having wait me till on the whole Zoom interview. Can't wait till we can actually see people in real yeah. life perform. It'll be in here. real life. Yeah, in real life. Well, thank yeah. you so much for um, signing on and doing this interview. Yeah, of course. And um, yeah, I look forward to when we can have our first Matilda meetup, you know? Yeah, in a, in a while, in a couple months. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Soon. Bye. See you later. Bye. And now, enjoy this special pre-recorded session with Matilda's class and our big kids ensemble singing School Song.
Oh, you got alert. Listen, kid. Thank you all for joining us for our virtual opening night of Matilda, especially all you magnets, otherwise known as my Matilda cast members. I wish I could have featured each and every one of you in our opening night video, but you will all have your chance to shine come November. If you can't wait until then, I encourage you to join in on our TikTok dance challenge. For those of you who are willing and able, donations can be made at ctelgin.com to help recoup the funds lost due to COVID-19. From Children's Theater of Elgin, stay safe and stay healthy. We look forward to seeing you all again in the fall.